we have one mic for the floor here. You use this one over here. Can I just take this? Okay.
check. One, two, three. Check. One, two, three. Check.
simultánea de esta radio. ¿Oís bien? Damos un aplauso a ese anuncio. His greetings, his love, and his blessing. I can imagine how he would be happy to be here with you this evening. Your love, your fidelity, and your engagement as Christian. Thank you very much. Eh, verdaderamente que el Señor ha pensado un encuentro que pienso será histórico para América el domingo de Pentecostés unidos a Pedro al Papa en la figura del de nuncio son dos gracias enormes para todos nosotros verdaderamente si, si queréis comenzaremos nuestro encuentro hoy domingo de Pentecostés cantando al Espíritu Santo que venga en medio de nosotros ¿Cómo es? No, en in, inglés. for the New York Ecumenal Way in the United States. We are very happy that the initiator of the way is here for this first gathering with representatives for, from all the country, first time on, the, on this Sunday of Pentecost. And we are very sorry that Carmen and Father Mario could not be here. But two days ago, Carmen's sister died. She was living, Carmen was living with, his, with her sister when she is in Madrid, and she had to go back. Father Mario accompanied her for the funeral. So we want to give an applause for Carmen and for Mario.
I wish to remind you that the way in the United States was opened by Kiko and Carmen in 1974. They came in 1974 uh, in Manhattan, in New York, with a priest, Father Guglielmo, from the first parish of Rome. I was accompanying them. And they visited many pastors in New York. And finally, the last one, which was Father Resta, in San Colomba. Here there are some from San Colomba. From San Colomba said, yes, when do we start? He said. And that's the way he started the, the neo the Human Way. That's thanks to that meeting, to that pastor, one pastor who said yes, we are here today. <laughs> we are also very honored to have among us to preside our first national meeting, Monsignor Pietro Sambi, Nuncio of His Holiness Benedict XVI. It is a great honor, but it is more than an honor, because Monsignor Pietro Sambi makes present Peter. So Peter today is amongst us. He, rep he represents the unity of all the church in the United States. And uh, he represents uh, Benedict XVI who has approved the statutes and who loves us very much. And it is, it is very significant that in this Sunday of Pentecost, we are here with Peter for this, for this meeting. Um, also, we have invited to this meeting Archbishop Boer from the Archdiocese of Washington. He was very willing to come, he said to us, but he was, um, he could not come because he has to celebrate confirmation today. So he sent a personal representative, Monsignor Panchi, Director of Vocation, to represent him in our meeting. I would like him. <laughs> Archbishop World sends his greetings in the Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome to the Archdiocese of Washington. sad that he could not be with you today. He truly, truly wanted to be here. But he is required to be at another important event which is taking place as we speak. At this moment, Archbishop Whirlin is in his cathedral where he is calling down the Holy Spirit on this Pentecost to confirm 120 uh, Catholic adults finishing their sacraments of initiation. But while he could not be here physically, he wanted to be sure that you know that he has prayed and is praying for the success of this gathering. He is truly with you in the spirit of Christ. It is the great desire and hope of the Archbishop that the Holy Spirit may inflame all those present with the fire of his love so that all may accomplish the important work of spreading the gospel message to the ends of the earth. It was mentioned that I am the Director of Vocations for the Archdiocese of Washington and he specifically asked me to come, not because of who I am, but because of the work that I am asked to do for the Holy Spirit and for the Archbishop, which is to bring priestly vocations to the church. And so he asks to give you another message concerning the call to priesthood and religious life. The Archbishop wanted me to express how deeply grateful he is for the energy and life of the Spirit, which is so clearly manifested in the Church through the Neocatechumenal Way. Especially 
in the growing number of vocations to the priesthood and consecrated life. The Archdiocese of Washington is blessed to be the recipient of a number of men who have said yes to Jesus Christ in their call to the priesthood. They are my brother priest. I see many of them in the front row here. The Archbishop encourages all those present, especially the youth, to be not afraid to give your hearts more fully to Jesus. And if you feel he may be calling you to the priesthood or religious life, to respond, here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. May the Lord fill all here with an abundance of gifts of the Holy Spirit, and may the blessings of God continue the work of the neocatechumenal way. Archbishop World, God bless you. Very quickly, but with uh, well, we would like to introduce the assembly to the nuncio and to Kiko, and to see who is present. To, we invited from all United States, and but obviously there are some people who travel 30 hours, 40 hours. I don't know how many. Obviously, not ma many from many communities came. Just uh, representation. Let us begin with those who are the farthest away. Uh, in the, the, from Guam, there is a representation. They stand up, a small number. There are, there are 50 communities in Guam. Uh, welcome. Yes, welcome. From uh, Hawaii, also, there is a small representation and there are 10 communities in Hawaii. Where are they? Uh, shout when you, so we, we can see you when, where, where you are, eh, when we call your name. Then, let us go from Oregon. There are 10 communities. Welcome. Then from California. Welcome, bienvenidos. In California, there are 170 communities, and here came a representation of 1,200. Ecco, bienvenidos a todos. From Arizona, 15 communities. There they are. A representation also. From New Mexico, where it just started the way. Two communities. From Colorado, where there are also seminaries. There they are. 150 people. From Texas, 130. Bienvenidos. Don't use the, the drums, otherwise we get we get there. From Texas, there are, they traveled 40 hours. No. 40 hours. How many? Eh? 40 hours they traveled. Eh? Very good. There are 130 communities and uh, and uh, about 700 brothers. From we get a, a little closer from the south. Uh, from Florida. They, they travel 20 hours to come here. From Georgia. Georgia. Welcome. From Arkansas, there is one community, one representative. Where is the, the representative from Arkansas? 
I don't know where is he. Va bene. Welcome. From, from Louisiana. Where there are nine communities. Louisiana. They are not yet arrived. Are there. Welcome. Then we get a little closer. From Illinois. Welcome, bienvenidos. 400 brothers representing 40 communities. From Michigan. Michigan. From Ohio. Ohio. There they are. The way is just starting. Welcome. From Pennsylvania. Welcome. Bienvenidos. Minnesota. From Minnesota. Where are they? Getting closer, from Massachusetts, Boston. But the Cardinal is open, Arredentoris Mater is very happy with the communities. Welcome, bienvenidos. From Connecticut. Welcome, bienvenidos. From Maryland and Washington, D.C. Welcome, bienvenidos. From uh, Delaware, where there are, the way is just starting. Where are they? There they are. Just starting. From Virginia. Welcome, bienvenidos. The New Jersey. Um, we have also the joy of having some brothers who wanted to join this gathering. Some representative, some representative from Puerto Rico. Some representative from Dominican Republic. Bienvenidos. Then also some representative from Turks and Caicos Island. And then also some brothers and sisters coming from Canada. Welcome to everybody. I leave the word to Kiko. <laughs>